We've talked a lot about the small aspects of decor, but what about the bigger picture? When you understand the whole process, then you can have more confidence to undertake your own decorating projects yourself. I'm Doug Walker, and this is Roominess. Roominess brings you straightforward steps to an inviting home. Click the subscribe button for more decor advice. You can find my newsletter, freebies, and ebooks over on my website. To make real progress in our decorating, the small decisions about paint and furniture should be guided by a bigger plan. Without that, we could live in a home that's less than it could be for years. As we talk about each step in this video, you'll see cards pop up at the top of the screen. Those will link you to a more in-depth discussion of that topic. If we're going to understand the whole process of interior decorating in five minutes, we better get going. Too late. First, you need to make decisions about function and organization. You need to think about what activities will go on in your room and what supplies you will need to do those activities. You can't just throw furniture, draperies, and pillows into a room and expect it to function well. You need to think about function first. This applies whether you're planning a whole house or you just want to make your countertop more attractive. How your room's function will include considering how your furniture will be arranged and what size it will be taking into account focal points and foot traffic paths. Second, consider the mood and inspiration for your room. How do you want to feel in your room? Do you want a space that's serene and restful? Or do you want one that's energetic, that makes you feel vibrantly alive? As you think about mood, search for inspiration. Search the internet for images of the room you want to decorate. When you feel stuck about how you might decorate a space, this can be a great first step. Finding room to model yours after can simplify lots of other decisions. We've talked before about an inspiration or go-by fabric. Having pre-coordinated colors in a fabric can ease the anxiety about choosing from millions of color options. Third is selection and coordination. Find the stuff you want to fill your room with, but don't buy it. So we're making fantasy rooms here? This is the stage where you're deciding how much you really can do. How big is the project going to be, and how much is it going to cost? Make sure to add some extra for contingencies or whoops moments. Look at several options for all the things you want to put in space. Paint, fabrics, rugs, furniture, everything. Put images of these items into a single collage image. This will be a mood board for your room. Make the background either your paint color, or your flooring material, or rug pattern. You can play with this visual tool to try different combinations of materials and see what works together. Fourth is to repair and prepare your space. As long as you're not remodeling, this might mean removing blinds or drapery rods and making minor drywall repairs. You might also replace carpet or install hardwood floors. But make sure you stick to your plan and the budget that you made. This is also the time for other background work, like painting ceilings and walls, or applying wall coverings. Use this time to have an electrician move any wall outlets or install any light fixtures if you need to. I always thought you just ran extension cords. Fifth is purchase and installation. This is when you're making final decisions and actually spending your money. The toughest part may be sticking to the budget that you came up with. But if you're going to complete the whole project, you'll need the money that you set aside for the final touches. Sixth, you fill in the details, like throw pillows, accessories, and lamps. This is the fun part that everybody likes to call decorating, but it's really the culmination of a lot of work and planning to transform a space. So here's a big question. Can you redecorate a space and keep the furniture that you have? I have a video on that right over here. You should watch. It's short. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.